Finding a good quality wig that's affordable can be tough. But what if I told you that this human hair lace top wig is under $700? I'm Jess from Hair Less Girl Boss, and today I'm gonna to be sharing all about the Sharon wig from Vexora Wigs. So I'm very excited to review this wig by Vexora Wigs. I have not even peeked at it. We are just going straight out of the box. First impressions, let's do this. The box is really okay. Whoops. Okay, we're off to a good start. Okay, I love when wigs come in these luxurious set and lined boxes because these are so good for storing your wig later on. Now let's get on to the good part, right? So this is the Sharon wig from Vexora. I have her in a size medium. I think I have a fishnet off there. Off the bat, this color, gorgeous. This is a natural light. So it looks like we have more highlighting towards the front of the wig, so more like face streaming highlights, and then they are just incorporated throughout. The hair feels really nice, very silky, smooth, has that like nice shine, but not fake looking shine. Okay, this wig is made of Mongolian human hair. I do have the 16 inch length here. It does have some curl in it. That's how it came out of the box. But after I wash it and air dry it, we are gonna restyle it together. This is a lace top. And I have to say this cap looks amazing. So the lace top has a liner, which I like. It's a personal preference. The liners can be removed if you don't like them, but they do make your lace a little bit more durable and it gives you more of that. I'll show you on the outside here. It gives you more of that scalp look when it has the liner underneath rather than it being completely see-through. But again, if you don't like that, you can absolutely have that removed and just have your single layer lace top. One thing that I am really loving is that they have this velour material throughout the cap. So we have it here around the lace top. We have it on the ear tabs. This material is so soft. It almost feels like a suede. It is just like really lovely. So I'm hoping that this gives you enough grip that you might not even need to wear a wig grip with this wig, but we'll try that out big fan so far of the cap construction. But let's go back to the lace top. So you have a good size lace top, which means you can move your part anywhere within this U-shaped section. So it gives you the freedom to have a middle part or a side part, which is always nice. And then it flows seamlessly into your very large ear to ear lace front. In the back you have your wefted cap an extended nape, and then you also have your adjusters. Okay, let's put her on, but I actually wanna try it without my wig grip. Now, whenever you put your wig on, I always hold it by the nape, because you never wanna pull on the lace. It's too fragile, we don't wanna stretch it, we don't wanna rip it, we don't wanna do anything to it. And then I'm gonna aim my forehead towards the middle of my wig, and when I initially put my wig on, it's gonna be like way too low. It should be too low on your forehead, and then you adjust it back. Obviously, this is not where the wig is gonna sit. I'm gonna take the ear tabs and I'm just going to shift it back. I have, this is my own little hair here. That baby needs to be plucked. But I have to say this cap is incredibly comfortable. These ear tabs have little, I love when the ear tabs have little metal um, stays in them because then you can almost like bend them just a little bit so they kind of like mold to your head. It gives you extra security and then you don't have to worry about the ear tab like flapping out like you got wings. So I don't have a wig grip on, so we're gonna have to do the test. So I'm gonna look ridiculous for a minute, but you know, I do this for you. Right, let's see if it stays put. It works. I've never had a wig that has basically wig grip material sewn into it. How genius. Why doesn't every wig come like this? I'm just so excited about this cap construction. Okay, Vexora. All right. Okay, next. This wig does come with bleached knots. 
So uh, let's check out this hairline and this part line. Let's get up close and personal. Okay, so here is some super tiny knots. And let's check out that part line. So you do have that lining underneath. Once I wash this wig, we will go through the process of what I do in my part line to help make it look even more natural. But for now, this is just straight out of the box, have not done anything to this wig, the hairline in the part line. So let's do a 360 first. Because we all love a 360. So this is 130% density, and that is one of my favorite densities because I think it feels super natural. It looks very natural, but you still have like a beautiful, stunning head of hair with your wig. I always say the way I like to test the density is to just do an ear tuck. And if it tucks easily behind your ear, it's a natural density. This one tucks super easy. First impressions so far, I'm obsessed with the cap construction. I love that I don't have to have a wig grip on with this one. It is the first time I've had a wig cap like this. The hair feels really nice and soft. I'm loving the density and I really like the color. Next up, I'm going to go wash this wig and that way we can see how the hair air dries. That's always important when you're buying a wig. You wanna know what that hair looks like after it's been washed and dried. I will be back. I'm back after washing and air drying the Sharon wig. So here is what she looks like air dry. It dries straight. The hair still feels nice and soft. Still has a pretty healthy shine to it. And I'm put her on. And all of this lace once you decide that you want to keep the wig, all of this lace here in the front, that will get trimmed back to about within a quarter of an inch of your hairline. Here is the air dry on this one. Here's your layer. So overall, it washed and air dried really, really nicely. So let's style her next. Here's a 360 of the air dry. For styling, I always like to wear kind of loose beachy waves. My favorite tool is a one inch Babyliss ceramic curling iron. I have this linked in my Amazon shop. I have sectioned off my hair. I applied my heat protectant. Always use a heat protectant when you're heat styling. The way I like to curl, I will clamp. First, I'll run the curling iron over the hair just to kind of heat it up. Helps you avoid any of those crimp marks or clamp marks. And then, I'll grasp the hair kind of midway down, leaving about an inch outside of the curling iron on the bottom. And then as I release the curl, I twist and wind the curling iron down. So you get a curl just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and give this wig a curl and I will show you the finished product. So I put all the curls in. I'm just waiting for them to cool. I like to let my curls cool completely before I brush them out. I find it gives them a little more staying power. So while they're cooling, I thought we could talk about the price of Sharon. One of the best things about this wig, not only is it human hair, it is a lace top and it has a lining and it has this amazing cap. It is only $786. And I have a discount code for you. So just 15 gets you 15% off, which makes this wig under $700. What a deal. All right, the curls seem like they have cooled. So let's get them a little brush out. So I am like loving this little, it's almost like a curtain bang you have here. I think it's really pretty and flattering. The color with the money pieces around the front, I think just kind of makes your skin glow. And one of my other favorite things about lace tops is the fact that it moves so naturally and you can really just run your fingers through the wig, play around with your hair which is so fun to do after experiencing hair loss. Have a little fun with it. 
love it. The last thing I'm going to do just to really help that part line look ultra realistic is I'm going to add a little bit of makeup powder. L'Oreal True Match powder is great. That's what I typically use. And then I take a small makeup brush. This is the one I have handy right now, but you can use a little angled one uh, for more precision. So just kind of tap, tap, tap. Just going to go in and tap it along. And it kind of helps define things, hide any knots that you might be able to see. Takes two seconds. I do it on all of my wigs. To review, this is the Sharon wig by Bexora Wigs. This is Mongolian human hair. It is in a brunette color with highlights. It has some face framing layers trimmed in. This is the 16 inch length. It is a lace top with a lace front. This cap construction does have the velour material sewn in. So you can wear this with or without a wig grip, depending on your preference. The Sharon wig is 130% density, so it makes for a nice, natural, easy ear tuck. You have plenty of room to move your part around within the lace top. The hair has great movement. It has been washed and air dried in this review, so you can see the true nature of the hair. Sharon retails for $786 and I do have a code for you. So you can use code JESS15 to get 15% off of your purchase. So that brings this wig down to under $700, which I think is a fantastic deal for a human hair lace top wig with such great cap construction. I hope you found this review helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. You can also follow me over on Instagram at hairlossgirlboss. And as always, my DMs are always open. Feel free to reach out. I'd love to chat with you.